What if one day you could legally choose this bud or this one? I don't know how it would affect it, really. And Paula Gardner's owned the Cat and the Fiddle, an established Hollywood watering hole and restaurant for 28 years. But her loyal patrons say it's simple. Some people like to drink, some people like to smoke. Some people, you know, and I don't think that it would hurt anything. However, those that deliver beer to liquor stores and restaurants have donated $10,000 to fight against Prop 19, the California initiative that would legalize marijuana. I think it's hilarious. The, 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 the fact that they're even coming out against it is funny. Oh, we got to save our own skin and protect our own assets. That's not true, according to a spokesperson with the California Beer and Beverage Distributors, who told me, quote, this is not a competitive issue for us. This initiative has nothing in there for distribution or sale of the product. Our issues are workplace safety and public safety issues, too. If one of our semis is on the highway heading to our retailers, how do we know if he's under the influence? Pop proponents say that's a smokescreen, telling me, quote, plain and simple, the alcohol industry is trying to kill the competition. Their mission is to drive people to drink. It's a heck of a coincidence. They are peddling a product that is far more harmful to both the user and to society than marijuana. But bartender Tina Brunelletti says bars shouldn't worry. Smokers aren't necessarily shut-ins. That would be going under the assumption that anyone who uses marijuana is somebody who just sits on the, on the couch and is a pothead and therefore doesn't leave the house.